Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a general reading for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. Okay, what does Scorpio need to know at this time, please? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just realized that's not on. Okay. <clears throat> what messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay, the strength card. The strength card and the five of wands. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So we have the strength card here and the five of wands. Okay, so you're trying to be strong. There's a lot of bullshit going on around you. A lot of arguments, uh, disagreements. Maybe some competition, some conflict. Um, and you're just trying to stay strong throughout the whole thing. Okay. So let's get some more cards here, because this could be general reading, love, family, friends, work, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's see. Can you please clarify the Strength card and the Five of Wands for Scorpio? Okay, what else do we need to know about the Strength card and Five of Wands for Scorpio? Okay. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, all right. There's a lot a lot of messages here for you okay so keep in mind not every single one of these cards is going to resonate with every single person some of them may be for you and all of them may be for you okay so very interesting here five of wands conflict comes up from the crystal uh, oracle deck so this is there's a lot of fighting here okay there's a lot of conflict going on in your life you know in what area so I'm not going to add extra cards because, like I said, everyone's on a different path. You know what's going on in your life, okay? Okay, then we have here compassion. So you're being strong. You're trying to be compassionate, and, you know, you're hoping in return that you'll get that compassion as well. Okay, relaxation. Yeah, I see, like, you're trying to be strong. You're trying to be compassionate. You're trying to, you know, relax the situation, diffuse whatever is going on here. And you want peace. You want peace and relaxation. Like whatever it is that this, this fighting for some of you has been going on for a long time. This conflict, this drama, this bullshit. Okay, and you're, you're like over it. You're trying to be as strong as you can be. But I see for some of you it's starting to take its toll on you. For some it could be physically. Okay, yeah, you need that heart healing. So again, this could be a relationship, family, friends, work. Okay. So basically, this is telling me that you guys are dealing with whatever is closest to your heart. That's what this, this conflict is mainly about, okay? So if it's a job you love, if it's a spouse or um, a partner, family member, okay? Like this is something that's been ongoing for a while. And for some of you, I'm actually... I'm hearing it could be just a conflict within yourself. Maybe choices that you've made and they were your choices. So you have no one to blame but yourself if things didn't work out the way you wanted them to because you chose this path. You made those decisions. And now you have this conflict of the results and you, some of you may be in a bind as to resolving it. Okay, and sexuality. So for some of you here... You may be fighting with a partner uh, that has cheated in the past and you just can't let it go. And that's you still fighting about it. It's still causing conflict. Um, you want peace and relaxation and you want to heal your heart and you're trying to be strong. But you just, you just may not be able to let it go. Or for some of you, this person may not stop cheating. They, this could be something that they've been doing for a while. And you're not in the position to let go financially if you're living together and do your own thing or maybe you're just not ready mentally to let them go okay to have that heart healing but you need you need that heart healing so if this person cheated once in the past and things are fine now but you can't let it go you need to let it go you have to learn to just let it go if you've already decided to stay in the relationship to make it work some of you may have kids together and stuff like that if it's not occurring anymore and the reason why you gave this person another chance was to have the happiness that you have now, 
then stop mentally beating yourself up about it, okay? And if this is somebody that just keeps doing it, then you have to stop thinking with your heart and you have to start thinking with your mind and figure out a way. Stay with family or friends if need be. You know, if, if you have that, that possibility to do that, then that's what you need to do because things will be better in the end. But you got to go through this to get there, okay? Remember, you always have the choice to change your life. It's if you do it. That's up to you. Everybody has the choice to change their life. Okay. So let's see. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. What's going on with your chakras at this time? What are your strengths or weaknesses? You need some information from the chakras. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we got, what, four cards. Okay, I thought we got three. Okay, so here we have connection, the heart chakra, of course. Universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. Okay. Another heart chakra, love, kindness, benevolence, sharing, and receiving. Okay, so if you are not emanating this, then this is what you need to. For those of you that are in the position that you can't get it out of your minds, maybe you're you know, being mean to the person that's with you. Um, after all these years I'm hearing, it could be years that have passed and you're just still like throwing digs or making comments or whatever. You need to really, you, you need to start being kind, sharing, receiving, allowing this person to love you. Let them in, take your wall down. If they've stuck around and they're doing right by you and the family, if you guys have a family together, you got to cut them a break. I mean, if you already gave them the chance to stick around, well, why did you do that if you're not going to really give it a chance, you know? So love, connection. Okay, throat chakra, communication. Okay, yeah, of course, self-expression, exchange, sharing, and again with connection. Where did I just see connection here? Connection here. Okay, you have to connect. This is the heart chakra. This is your throat chakra. You have to connect the two, your heart and speak, speak how you feel. Okay, you love this person, tell them, I love you. Communicate how you feel, okay? That you, you need to join this too, these two connections of heart and communication, self-expression, exchange, sharing, and connection, okay? Here we have sharing, sharing the love here. Communicate the love, share the love. This is the message that's coming through for you, okay? And then you will have peace and relaxation, okay? You will have that heart healing, but you have to do these things. You have to show some compassion, okay, in order to get it in return for those of you that this resonates with, okay? And here we have the third eye chakra, the mind. The mind and the heart have to connect and be on the same page. And I just say that with communication, okay? Your mind is like, no, if I, um, for those that you're dealing with someone that cheated in the past and things are okay, you, you can't let go because you think in your mind, well, like, I'm a sucker if I, if I let them in, if I put my wall down. No, you're not a sucker. You're somebody that's actually trying to make your relationship work because the truth is you do love them, which is why you gave them another chance. So you're actually an idiot if you don't let your wall down and let them in. If they're trying and they've been trying for years and they're not doing anything again, then you're destroying the relationship now before it even got a chance to really mend itself, okay? How would you feel if this person was no longer around? If this person were to tell you, I'm leaving tomorrow, how would you feel? You'd be like, oh shit, no, that's not what I wanted. And that's your true emotion. So think about that. How would you feel if they left? Okay, so your mind and your heart have to be on the same page. Openness, flexibility, imagination, and learning, okay? Flexibility here. Open your heart and your mind. Let them connect, okay? It's to your benefit. It's to your family's benefit for those of you that have a family. People make mistakes, you know? Was it first time shame on you, second time shame on me? So if it's a one-time thing and you already, you know, accepted to make the relationship work, then let it work.
You forgive, you never forget, but you don't have to harp on it. Okay. Then we have the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Okay, so for some of you, I'm feeling with this energy, uh, the gaining momentum, just like it's a, a lot of intensity here, a lot of anger, just it's constantly like, um, like heated, you know? And then believe in the impossible. Okay, so for those of you, and then it's blue moon. So the color blue may be relevant to some of you here. And this is also waxing moon. So the waxing moon phase may be relevant to some of you here. Uh, believe in the impossible. So if you're thinking like, I'll never be happy. I'll never have true love. You know, our relationship will never be on the up and up. Believe in the impossible, okay? All right, so let's see. All right, I'm going to pull some cards actually from the initial deck. Let's see. What initials are relevant to Scorpio at this time? Okay, we have H. N. H, N. Last shuffle. Okay. And D. Okay, so uh, with DN, I'm seeing Dana. And uh, I know Jose is spelled with a J, but for some reason with the H, I'm getting Dana and Jose here. Um... Yeah, Dan, a Honda, someone may drive a Honda. Okay, so HDN, however these initials resonate with you, it could be initials of someone, something, or a place, okay? So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. Just keep in mind that uh, in order to get your peace and relaxation, you just, you have to let go whatever it is that you need to let go accept whatever it is move on believe in the impossible like however you need to do this love and communication in your mind it all has to be together in order for this to work out in your favor okay or to give you the strength to do what you know in your heart you need to do okay so that's all i have for you peace and love and i will see you in the next reading